deliverance, by deliverance and healing and peace and joy and everything that God will give to us. We can take it, y'all. He said we can have it. He said we, you will even find rest with your weary soul. But if you're weary today, you need the place or even online. Our God is a conqueror, y'all. He is a God that works in the middle of a wheel. <laughs> you don't even have to ask him. He'll go ahead and give it to you. He just wants you to be people of God. Please just say, yeah. Loving him. Loving people. Loving being blessed. Loving the people that God has given us. 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 Loving the people that God has
every heart that is open to you, that salvation returns to each and every individual that is under the auspices of every voice in this world. Lord God, we just thank you. Father God, we thank you for the new future. Lord God, we thank you right now for the past that has been removed from us. You said that you would remove our sins as far as the east is from the west. And Lord, that's a mighty on us. And Father God, we thank you. We humble ourselves. And we thank you. We worship you. And we thank you. We beg your, your great forgiveness for all of our wicked ways. And we thank you, Lord. We are tired of our wicked ways. And we surrender. We surrender our hearts, our bodies, our vessels, our minds, our will, our spirit, everything to you. And we thank you for your grace and your mercy. And we speak the mind that is in Christ Jesus in the each and every soul that is of increase every day. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Christian, ready for rap? Um, my grandson did a uh, Mother's Day rap. I can't Okay. I'm going to move on to testimony. A two minute. I know it's something burning in your heart that God is dead for you. You ought to just tell someone, come on, Pastor. Come on. Come on back up here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. So lately, one of the things that God has been dealing with you with is his perfect timing. And the fact that we have to trust his perfect timing. Now, most people know that I'm a realtor, but a lot of people don't know that I also drive a um, motor coach, you know, which is like the great now for us. And that's my part time job, even though I work it, you know, just as much as any full time job. But last Friday, while I was on my way back after dropping the food to people, and, you know, I stopped and I got some lunch, you know, some dinner and everything. And, you know, I, I just felt like in my spirit that was like needed to do. And I didn't know, you know, how God was proving this perfect time. And so when I got back on the highway and I was in this vehicle and I was doing, you know, maybe around 60 miles an hour, uh, speed limits around 65. And there was an accident up the road which slowed all the traffic down at about this time. Of year. So as I was going, my back tire, the very last tire, which weighed well over 100 pounds, broke off my beach jumped over five lanes of traffic and didn't hit anyone. And this is by God's grace. And God was just entering that I am the one that keeps you. I am the one who does I am the one. And when you put your trust totally in me, when you surrender totally to me, so shall I keep everybody that stays under my grace. Amen. Amen. So, yesterday we went up to Harrisburg, Virginia, and we stopped by a McDonald's. Originally, the price was $16. 16 But it came down to three sixty. We said that we were like pastors from another state. And she brought that down to three dollars. I consider this is a testimony because God did something for us. And in us and with us. God did that. I got to give him glory. I got to say Come on, share. I got to share. Share. I can't, I can't keep it to myself. Oh, no, no. I, I, I must share. Uh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, amen. Amen. Woo! amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. 
did whatever the way need on his own time on the planet, y'all. God's going to do some great things in here, and I'm excited about what he's about to do. So you need to praise him in the face. You need to praise him when you see the manifestation. You need to praise him when you see it. Because God is already there. I think I'm going to be on vacation in a while. And God is so. See, we don't take it like that God allows to be back. Because once you get in your car, once you get in your truck, once you get in the bus or anything, you are not allowed to come back home. Fuck God. Somebody said, fuck God. Somebody said, fuck God. That's why I serve him, because I know he protects me. That's why I serve him, because I know he brought so with me in my family. So I give God praise for the things he has brought through in this ministry. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, this time you'll hear Christian come up here. But, um, he did this for Mother's Day. Um, Phil May, um, he asked, could he uh, do this? He said, okay, this is easy. He's talented. We got to uh, use our youth. Amen. 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 Did wrong me and said forget a long mom. Every time you work, I can see you withdraw mine. Won't take long. Wraps tighter than you want, mom. Like Kanye Pop and Drake from down another mama song, mom. Hey. But don't be sad, I'm, I can make you real glad, mom. <laughs> no, that's all right, Give it praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Listen, check it. I did wrong, me and Tim forget along, huh? Every time you work, I can see you withdraw, huh? It won't take long, wraps tighter than you want, huh? Like Kanye Pop and Drake, but not another mama song, huh? Oh, but don't be sad, I can make you real glad, mommy. I know it's bad that you never had a dad, mommy. When I did wish you what you wanted, could have had, mommy. God help anyone who ever made you mad. I'm never be here till I'm nice and left the body stop sign. After that, you made sure I never did was drop my Talk about Jesus Christ, and you taught us about his word. Told me to set my hopes high, but I'm higher than a bird, so I thank you for that, Mom. I thank you very much. I'm gonna walk you until my hurts. It is your gentle touch. If there's anything you want, then you'll get it with no doubt. Or doubt. Spoil me, gave me what I want when I power. Now I'm trying to get us rich by being somewhat a rapper. Well, if not that, then probably somewhat after. Forget those, take that out, this the common factor. Forget those, take that out, this the common factor. Whether it's a lousy cold or even the ish, then they made sure I was good again. Even when I was sick, you say it's on me all the time. Like a dog stay on the tick, and you forgave me all the time. Even if, even if I did wrong, me a tip would get along. Huh? Every time you work, I can see you withdraw. Huh? It won't take long, wraps tighter than you want. Huh? Like honey, pop and drink, but I didn't love the mama song. Huh? But don't be sad, I can make you real glad, mommy. I know it's bad that you never had a bad mommy. When I give you what you want, it could have had, mommy. God help anyone who ever made you mad, mommy. DC, native in Christ, you was bold. 
Father passed me, it was only two years old. Oh, Those bodies back to back, even when you were young. Pregnant with a baby, went to college, went to college. Went to college. Thought it was tempting how people do the heat stage. It's cool to help the ball by your brother's roll. She stayed cool with all the table. And shoes up on our feet, and food up on the table. And shoes up on our feet. You pray for me every day, that's the reason why I live. When someone does me wrong, you teach me to forgive. And everyone knows you're somewhat a good teacher. And everyone knows you're a very good preacher. Teacher, people is copy, they will always want to meet you. Haters get sloppy, they looking like some beakers. However, loving my mommy, so I will always be her. I'm nothing in this world, if not my mother's keeper. I just keep it. Get it wrong, me and Ted get along. Huh? Every time you work, I can see you with your mom. I won't take long wraps tighter than your mom, mom. Like I ain't about to drink, but not another mama song, mama song. But don't be sad, I can make you real glad, mommy. I know it's bad that you never had a bad mommy. When I give you what you want, it could have had mommy. God help anyone who ever made you mad, made you mad, mommy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
called our number and walked to the window. He said, all right, good morning. And I started to talk to him. He said, this is not the message. I know you're going to work. So in meeting her, she took care of all of my brother's situation. This young lady couldn't even give him back his time to eat. So he had no idea. But every place he went, someone helped him. So what the enemy taught the people about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thank God for that because God had to meet this woman on the line on on God. Yeah, yeah. He brought us together in person yeah, yeah, yeah. and the whole situation was yeah. yeah. so I thank God for allowing us to meet and for me to show my brother. Yeah. So I, I just thank God. There was nothing but my glory. Amen. 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 So we're going to close the hour. Uh, we ask our power overseer, the apostle, and um, pastors are allowing everyone to speak for what, 10 minutes. Each person can speak for 10 minutes. So uh, the first one, come on up. Amen. Who's going to be our first? Come on, come
nation. Yet those people accepted him and put their faith in him. They were not the they were not God's children, but the nation of become of any human is I think desires God himself God himself was the one who made them his children. The the word became a human being and and live here or and live here with us. We saw his true glory. The glory of the only Son of the Father. From him all kindness and all the truth of God have came down to us. John spoke about him and shouted his that is the one I told you will come. He, he, he is greater than I am because the world allowed me be, be before I was born. Yeah. Because, because of all the the sun is we have been given one blessing after another. The law was given by most blessing another after another. The law was given by sorry. Okay. And my own version is that God He created us. He made the sun, he made the moon, he made the sky, and God is going to bless you if you serve him. Yeah. God is going to bless you if you put your faith in God, and you serve God, and you believe in God. If you do not believe in God, you need to stay. So, I'm saying, this tells everybody, get, get right with the Lord now. Time is running out. Yeah. Yeah.
com confident isn't being being feel superior way. Have you ever noticed that? Notice that world glories and gifts, they don't have, they don't make commercials. They don't. They cost too much. One, number one. The reason that they, the value of their product brings cost, customers to them. Reason, we know that we don't have to beg people. We don't have to beg people to like you, to be your mate, or to spend time with you, or to join your business, or to love you. Who's next on the price of Christ? <laughs> Who's um, next for a word, a right a word? Amen. 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 Come on up. Yeah. 
Y'all have ten and split because of black people need to put new covers on it. Come on, handle it. Get that cover and new cover. Come on, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. And people will be like, you can walk past the back and be like, woo. Yeah, on you. That don't feel like Corona. That's the Holy Spirit on you. But yeah, you really do think we're going to be so subjected to the Holy Spirit and what he's going to do. That you're going to be able to see through things. You may be hear people talk and they say, mm -mm, that don't feel like God to me. You're going to be able to do all kinds of things because he did a new thing. What they say, you can't put new wine into old skin or whatever, you can't do it. So I'm saying to people, we got to get ready. We got to be prepared. The journey is about going forward in God. The journey is about doing the work of the Lord. The journey is about doing the work of about our pastor. That's not just that she gonna come and help us. Three of us are going to be not. No, you're not. I ain't talking to your brother. No, you're not. Because you got brothers to do that stuff. Yeah. What's your section? I'm doing all this stuff. It's a new day. Yeah. People, it's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. God, you're teaching every one of us. Every one of us. It's a new day. Amen. 
because every time you call him, he says, yes, God. He says, yes, God. He says, come on, Lord. Come on, in, even if it's your first time. So, Lord, we thank you for the ability just to come on, Lord.
and know me one day, one time, day, and read it for myself. But uh, I still thank God and honor you. I mean, I have a vision of myself. I still see. I thank God for that. Well, thank you. I hope to see if you give me a chance to just one thing I would Now it's a, a rare opportunity for me to stand up here because I'm not really a speaker, so to speak. I just want to praise God. Amen. Uh, he has done a lot for me over the years. Uh, those that know me know that uh, I had a near death experience a couple years ago my appendix blew up they say or roughly but it blew up and um they had to go in usually they stick it in the wind and draw it out no they had to cut from here all the way to my belly button i almost didn't make it and i laid there on that bed and i said god oh, my name and God said, why not you? I got to put you down so you can hear me. I got to let you suffer like my son did. I have to let you feel some of the pain. And that's what I did. And because of that, I can truly honestly say that he's lifting me. He'll lift me right now so high that <laughs> I can't do nothing but praise him. Because I now I understand him. You know, it's one thing to grow up in the church, but it's a one, another thing to live it. We get so wrapped up trying to live in the church where we should be living how to be king, like the king, in kingdom living. Amen. It's about the kingdom. So I can truly honestly say that here at High Praise, we teach disciples. We teach you how to become one of the twelve. We teach you how to get confidence in being a leader for the most high. That's what it's about. Kingdom. Kingdom living. Kingdom teaching. But before I sit down, I want to ask this one piece. Three questions. See, uh, I'm a big fan of Matthew. That's my man there. And one verse I have to ask myself all the time, 
Sink and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. And ask and it will be granted unto you. My question to everybody in here and everybody out there who you seeking? What door are you asking to open? And what are you asking for? Are you asking for a church? Or are you asking that be one of the disciples of Jesus Christ? What are you asking for? What door are you asking to open for you? Is it a business for yourself? Or is it a business to glorify and magnify the Father himself? Are you, who are you seeking? Are you seeking man and the money? Or God and his glory? Magnify the Father and you will never go wrong. Good way 
with them. They shall walk and give rain upon the land which thou hast given to the people for inheritance. So I'm going to stop it right there. But when somebody come to you for forgiveness, you got to learn how to forgive. There's a lot of people walking around. It's not forgiving people. But the thing is about hearing and hearing the word of God. You know, they come by here and hearing the word of God. So that's in the word. Talk about the beginning. A lot of people don't know when to begin. They hold things all the time. They're holding grudges. You're not supposed to hold grudges. But you're supposed to forgive. No matter what's going on, you have to forgive that person. You have to show love. Because when you don't have love, you ain't going to show no forgiveness. There's family members that have not gave, have forgiven each other. And they still walking around like they got it all cut and dry. They don't have it all cut and dry. You got to forgive. Hold on, I'm walking around with the, the attitude. Like the world owes them something. Like somebody really owes them. But they, they're always thinking it's about them. They always blame you. They play the fame game. They play the mind game with you. A lot of them think that you can, they can test you by it. Telling you it's you, but it's them. And you know, I'm using this as an example myself. People come to me with the blame game, trying to make their problems mine. The devil is a lie. They're not going to make their problems mine. I got too much going. I got too much to do for God. My thing is to focus, like I said earlier. Is the focus. God is putting us to a test. Let's see how we're going to stand that test. And see how we're going to listen to him. Or see how we're going to hear from him. So I have to take my time and I listen to what God said. And to hear what he said to me. You know, there were seven churches back then. They had to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. It's a lot of times God put the leaders in place to give instructions, to give what he wants you to hear. Some people turn a deaf ear to what God wants them to hear. They don't want to hear nothing. But when you tell them what's right, they look at you like you're crazy. They look at me like I'm crazy, like I don't know what I'm talking about. They question my ability, but I know where I'm at in God. I know where I'm at, and I, I know who I am. Amen. And I know where I'm going. Amen. I'm not going to hell, that's for sure. Amen. I'm going to where Jesus is. I'm living to live again. I'm living to live again. And see, you got to get to that place, to that special place, to where God is taking you, or to where he wants you to hear what he wants you to hear. And I pay a close attention when he said, do the prayer. God told me a while back, years ago, didn't you have a prayer line? Get back on that prayer line. I didn't call you to keep still. I didn't call you to sit down. I appointed you and anointed you to do what I called you to do. I was the type that wants to run. Wants to run away from 
what God has called me to do. I thank you, praise God, for the opportunity and to what you have me to speak on. Hear what God wants you to hear. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God, what you need to hear. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God. I'm just thanking God for how He's using ordinary people to speak into the lives of ordinary people. Amen. This is something different, y'all, because a lot of churches don't have this. They would have you sit down like puppets, like you don't have nothing to say, like God ain't speaking to you, God ain't talking to you. You ain't nothing but a member or you ain't nothing but a disciple. Amen. But God. So I thank God how he's speaking to everyone, even in this place. Yeah. How through your personal life and through your walk with God, your own individual testimony, how God can bless us through what he's doing even in your life. So I thank God for everything that has came forth. How many thank God for the leadership? I had to place on the TV. I had a mercy I was able to but I was able to watch it. Thank God I was able to watch it. I tell you, God is doing something here. But I just want to say, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on because God has something for you. There's no big eyes, there's no big nothing in here. We all God's people trying to make it there. Let us have a heaven and a hell for nobody in. We all need his grace. We all need his mercy. We all need his love. We all need his peace. We all need his joy. We all need his guidance. And we all need Jesus. So if you love us, Jesus. Amen. We all need him. And somebody tell you something different. The devil is alive. Because I don't care who you are, how, what kind of name you have, what kind of title you name. How many people is in your church that you pass I don't care who you are, you need Jesus like I do. Amen. 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 So I'm just going to say I was blessed with everyone. And I'll go on um, Pastor Jesus comes over because I would like to thank God for how he's using each one of you. Last week was also God spoke last week through the mouths of his people. So God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm not going to prolong the hour after. I just, I just want to give y'all a couple of scriptures. And um, then we'll have offering and then we'll be reading. That will even God's sight, though. Amen. So I'll be reading to you Matthew 16. Matthew 16, verse 13 through 19. If you want to get it. Acts 19, 15, and Romans 1, 8. So Matthew 16, starting at verse 13. Says now, Matthew 16, verse 13. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do men say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others say Jeremiah, and one of the or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you? Say, I am. Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church, and the powers of death shall not prevail against it. 19. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Acts 19. Acts 19, verse 15. But the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, 
and Paul I know, but who are you? Romans 1 and 8. First, I thank Romans 1 and 8. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is proclaimed in all the world. And my question for you today, who do men or people or people you associate say you are? We heard, we saw in the scriptures in Matthew who the, the disciples say Jesus was. We even saw in Acts who that spirit asked, who are you? These men were going around casting out devils or saying, trying to uh, cast out devils and trying to be one of the elect, one of the followers of Christ. And they, the long story to the, the short, to the, 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 I'm just going to add it up to you. I'm just going to say the end. They end up getting beat up. That, that, that demon beat their butts, took all the clothes off of them and said, get out of here. And then Romans, it goes on and says, first, I thank God through, sorry, let me see y'all. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is proclaimed in all the world. Is your faith proclaimed in all the world? Do people, the closest people that see you every day, who do they say you are? Who do they say you are? As people die, all of the all of the stories, all of the sermons, all the uh, teachings that you just heard today, it all points to Jesus. Everything that everybody said. Some say, "Go, get ready, let's do this, let's forgive." But we heard so I mean, I mean, so many different words today. But I just leave this with you: Who do people say you are? Do they say you're a person? A faith to make proclaim says she go out or he go out and tell everyone about God. Do they say you're a person of love? Do they say you're a person of kindness? Who do men, people, your closest associates, work, those in your home, those are in your neighborhood? What? Who do they say you are? Who do they say you are? I don't have to resonate with you over. The week until we come back here to Tuesday um, um, for leadership training and, and, and um, then prayer on Wednesday and then Friday for outreach. Who do you want to see? If, 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 if they have not, if people have said that you are a, a fighter, a warmonger, a drug addict, if they say those are good things about you, by next week I want you to say, I'm changed. I, I put on a new look. As a matter of fact, don't even wait till next week. Come on to the altar. Come and get prayer. We have our apostle and leaders here that will pray for you. You don't have to go out this door or chain um, um, the same way you came in this door. So who, ask your neighbor, who do people say you are?
God really says, if I know, you change your God for you to change your life. Let's do a job, guys. Job for you, okay? Let's do a job. 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 I was telling you, the glory of the Lord is a hard big weekend. Some people got the grill going. Some might have it going tomorrow. But thank God for allowing us to come and get this thing. Praise one more again. Is that all right? Father, we thank you for everything that has taken place. As we leave from this place, we know from your presence. We thank you in advance for all that has been said. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.